In today's series, we're going to get into why women don't want to get married anymore and why men are supposedly the culprits. In an article written by Amanda Chattel on Bold.com titled, Women Are Getting Married Less and Less and the Reason Why Might Shock You, Ms. Chattel outlined 11 reasons on why women aren't interested anymore. In the beginning of the article, she stated, in quote, There was once a very good reason for women to lock it down with a man. Men were hunters, providers, and protectors, while women took on the role of child rearing and maintaining a home. These were our biological roles, the natural order of how things were supposed to be. And because of that, for a very long time, no one batted an eye. However, as we've clawed ourselves out of the mold and fought against our inherent biology, our need to be married isn't what it used to be. End quote. Chattel went along and paraphrased Hannah Rosen, the author of The End of Men. She stated, end quote, What if that era has come to end? Yes, imagine that. The entire human history of women depending on men has been wiped out. Can you even fathom that? Can men stomach such a reality? Well, they should, we all should, because we're living in it right now as more and more women realize that marriage isn't a necessity after all. End quote. The first reason Chattel outlined is there just aren't as many worthwhile guys anymore. She stated in quote, as Kate write her piece, all single ladies simply, the caliber of men has decreased greatly. Between joblessness and a lack of prospects out there for men, there are far more deadbeats than guys worth giving a shot. In other words, marriageable men are few and far in between. End quote. What Chattel and the writer she was referring to have to realize is that there isn't a shortage of decent marriageable men. This is a narrative that jaded older single women tend to promote. Fempowerment has dominated modern culture, affecting the paradigm and behaviors of modern women. Due to more and more women earning higher salaries, some women refuse to commit to a marriage with the man that makes the same or less. This exemplifies women's hypergamous nature as it relates to socioeconomics. Another thing that Chattel stated that the writer Kate mentioned was that it's more deadbeats than guys of their personal standard, whatever that is to them. Some women, for whatever reason, decide to entertain deadbeats. Women for the longest have endured through heartache with these kinds of men. Sadly, there's enough women out there that delude themselves into believing that the so-called deadbeat will change. My personal opinion is that some women feel more comfortable with this kind of guy because it's all they're used to or it's some other personal quality that offsets him. Whenever it comes to a man that's very serious and upright, some women become intimidated or it's just too foreign to them. Some women that's into deadbeats intuitively know that if they're going to be with an upstanding guy, they'll have to change their way grew up and be willing to be held accountable. Women still need a man that's a challenge. At least that's what they want to experience. Most women will say that they want a high value man, but are they really ready for him? The second reason Chattel stated was that women are the complete package on their own. She got into how there are more and more women in the workplace and how there are surpassing men in higher education. Just because a woman can rise to the same socioeconomic status as a man doesn't mean that the two are equivalent. Men and women are different and we are complements to one another. We need each other to produce new life here on earth. The third reason is the best dating relationship advice on web sponsor. We're going to skip this one for now. The fourth reason Chattel mentions is marriage is outdated and women know that. She stated that marriage from a historical perspective was an institution that was often set up by families. Thanks to the sexual revolution, the old social contract no longer exists. The only problem is that women constantly complain that they can't find a worthy enough man to provide stability. The irony of this statement is that there are still women out there that want to enter a marriage. Since women can now live out their sexual imperatives and can do whatever they want, women ironically still find themselves in a catch-22 situation. This raises an interesting question. Why women with all of their privileges still find themselves unsatisfied with today's social climate? There are women out there that still believe that we live in a patriarchal society, although feminism have already resolved many gender-related issues that pertain to women. Women would rather blame men for all of their relationship failures and self-esteem issues without having a sense of introspection. This is the social narrative. Men aren't worth anything until proven otherwise. The social order purports that men just want to have sex with as many women as possible. 
I find this not to be entirely true as there are men out there looking for solid relationships with decent women. However, this may be true for men who are presented with many sexual opportunities daily, but for hardworking decent men, they just want a cooperative wife or girlfriend. The fit reason Chattel stated was many men continue to be threatened by strong, successful women. In the passage, she mentioned that masculinity is fragile and that most men don't like it when their masculinity feels threatened. First off, this statement is wrong. The modern man does not feel threatened by a strong, successful woman. At least this is true for men that are masculine. Heterosexual men that are masculine are simply not attracted to women that display dominance and virility. This literally destroys the sexual polarity needed to create healthy relationships. She also mentions that men don't like it when their masculinity feels threatened. I have to agree with this statement that most men don't want to feel like they're competing with another man. There's nothing more repulsive and agitating than a woman who feels that she can overpower a man. This also proves the MGTOW perspective on the woman's test. A militant MGTOW tries to avoid any social interaction with the woman for this reason. Men don't want to feel that their lover is one of a hostile enemy. The sixth reason is hookup culture is alive and well. Chattel stated that we're now living in what is considered a dating apocalypse. This is true. Hookup culture origins goes back to the 1920s in the early city life and have dominated the social scene on college campuses. As hookup culture evolved, many people engage online now through swipes and direct messaging. Due to this cultural change, there are fewer people that are serious about dating and commitment. What are the ramifications of hookup culture and is it really healthy for a modern woman? In the manosphere, it is often espoused that if a woman has been whittled by an alpha, and if a man cannot break that imprint, it's a high chance that that woman is going to be dissatisfied in her relationship. The seventh reason Chattel outlined was that the idea of marrying up is gone. This is very similar to the first reason. She gets into why there's no quality men in terms of wealth, or should I say men that earn a higher salary than they do. Just because a man earns high doesn't mean that he's of higher value. There's other qualities in a man that enhances his value such as his personality and his sense of virility. A man can have wealth and still lack the emotional strength and the mental fortitude essential for a woman to trust his lead. The eighth reason is women have risen and continue to rise. Chattel mentions another author by the name of Bali. In a passage, she stated that the author believed that due to the rise of feminism, women had a cause and a reason to fight for equality. They believe its ramifications have negatively impacted men and left men purposeless. This is partly true as feminism have reinforced gynocentrism. Gynocentrism vilifies inherent masculine ideals, making it more difficult for men to identify with the masculine. Conventional notions of masculinity are perceived as toxic. All male spaces have been infiltrated by women, watering it down into being unisexual. The only remnants of conventional aspects of masculinity left are members of gang culture, street culture, and a few dojos. The ninth reason is marriage isn't necessary for women to be mothers. Chattel got into the fact that women can go to the sperm banks to have children. This to me is a little weird because there's no urgent need for them. There are plenty of guys that are sexually healthy and fertile. Why are sperm banks needed? Secondly, you don't need to get married to become a mother. This is a cultural expectation. I believe there's a difference between being a mother and being a mom. You can be a surrogate and be a good mom. On the other hand, you can be an abusive and negligent mother. Men aren't forcing women to get married in order to impregnate them. Once again, this is a social convention that is often followed. I know this kind of sound extreme, but it is often stated in the manosphere that if a man is a beta male type and have personified someone differently early on within a relationship, this can infuriate some women, especially if they're militant feminists, causing them to want to abort the child. Some women have a hard time accepting the fact that their spouse or lover have represented someone they truly wasn't. Furthermore, reason number 10 is men have lost what little value they had. Honestly, I have to confess that most of these points in this article are just a load of crap and very redundant. I'm going to skip this part because it's just a bullshit argument. The final reason Chattel outlined is women essentially became the men that they want to marry. In the article, Chattel mentions that the author Gloria states women today are too badass to settle for a marriage due to fempowerment. Women today own their own house, make their own money, 
and need no provisions from a potential long-term partner. In the red pill community, this is already affirmed as we know that the beta bucks of women's hypergamy is no longer essential to modern women. Decent men is no longer a consideration and women are now more than ever pursuing of their self-interest. Whether that be hot kinky sex with alpha male types, poly relationships whether it's formal or informal if she's that type of woman and same-sex relationships if she's bisexual or lesbian the idea of a good man sounds great but if a man lacks social intelligence he's pretty much doomed this article once again was too redundant and ridiculous but this is where modern culture is leading to until then next time